What is Google Analytics? And can I even transfer my information from Universal Analytics to Google Analytics 4? Well, first of all, Google Analytics tracks all the necessary information from your customers on your websites. And this means anything from button clicks to form submissions to conversions and who is buying your products. As some of you may know, Universal Analytics actually shuts down in July of 2023. So it's best to start transferring that data as soon as possible. This is Jake over at USDP, and today I'm going to show you a quick and easy, simple tutorial on how to set up Google Analytics. So why is Google switching over to Universal Analytics to Google Analytics 4? Well, this is due to Apple's new security policy. As you may have noticed when you go on to Snapchat or Instagram or any other social media app, there is an allow, don't allow feature on these apps tracking your data across different apps. And of course, if you're like me, you're gonna wanna click on that don't allow option. So I'm kind of like divided because as a personal user, I love that these apps don't track all my data, but as an advertiser, this means I have less data to go off of. Google Analytics 4 fills in the blanks with machine learning and artificial intelligence to kind of predict what certain customers and audiences will do with less data. So now that you guys know the lay of the land, let's start with this tutorial. So the first two tabs that we're going to want to have open is the analytics tab and the Google Tag Manager tab. And you're going to want to log in into your business account in both of these tabs. We are going to start with how to create an account or property in Google Analytics. So the first thing that we are going to want to do is go to the admin section at the very bottom select create account and then you are going to name your account and i'm going to name this account right here subscribe underscore usdp you don't have to click any of these things if you don't want to so click next name the specific property you want to track select the specific time zone and country that you're in press next and then here is the specific business information you want to fill out answering all of these fairly accurately will help Google better track your website. So I'll select the options for our company, business and industrial. We are a company between 11 and 100 employees. So just for now, I want to optimize my site or app experience and I want to optimize my advertising cost. And we are going to select create. If you want to click, I accept, I accept. So now you are going to want to create a data stream. So for me, I'm tracking a website, so I'm gonna press web. And so what you're gonna to wanna to do in these two options is, first of all, name your website and then put the URL of your website. So we are going to want to copy and paste the URL from your homepage of your website. So run it Command C, Command V, and then name this whatever you want to name it. And after that, you're going to want to press create stream. So after you create data stream, a tab like this should pop up. So click on the tab. This whole page can be pretty confusing and overwhelming once you first look at it. But what you really wanna focus on is the measurement ID. So just go ahead, command C and copy. So after you copy that measurement ID, go over to the Google Tag Manager page. And in this overview section right here, press a new tag, and then you're going to want to create a tag configuration. So click on this, and then you're going to want to make sure to press on GA4 configuration, not GA4 event. Let me explain the difference between the two. A GA4 configuration is kind of the umbrella which holds all the events which are tracked by tags. And so essentially, once you connect the GA4 configuration from the tag manager over to Google Analytics 4, then you can finally start tracking tags, which are essentially tracking button clicks, conversions, and form submissions, and many other things that you can personalize for your website. So heading back into it, we are going to want to press GA4 configuration. And so that beautiful measurement ID we just copied, we are going to want to paste back in here, command V. And after that, we are going to want to select the triggering section. And so if you don't have the option for all pages already, press the plus button in the top right corner, press trigger configuration, 
click page view and select all page views in this section. Press save, name it, press save. And then now we are going to want to press save, save that, go to the top right corner, press publish and press continue and then it should save the configuration for you. I'm not going to do that on our current website page just because we already have a GA4 configuration set up and that if I press submit again, that may mess things up. So on your guys' end, press publish, but I'm just gonna exit out of this. After that, Google Tag Manager and your website should now be connected. Be aware that it sometimes takes between 24 and 48 hours for Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics 4 to connect. So don't be worried if nothing pops up right away. So now on to the fun part of the video. We are now going to go through all the new menu options in Google Analytics 4. Let's hop back into it. So as you may have noticed, there are now a lot less tabs in the new Google Analytics 4. I know some people enjoy that, but Universal Analytics users are kind of annoyed because they think they are getting less data. So to get some of the options from Universal Analytics, we're going to want to hop in the Explore section of Google Analytics 4. So press Explore. So just as an example, we are going to want to go to this Freeform section. And as you can see, this template automatically tracks where our users are coming from and our highest number of users are coming from Cincinnati. And there's also a plethora of different options on the side. So if you guys want to see a tutorial on how to set up a report, please let me know in the comment section down below. After you've had fun messing around with the Explore tab, we're going to want to go to the next best thing, which is the user acquisition section underneath the reports tab. So select reports, go to acquisition and go to user acquisition. As you can see, this is where all our users come from. So organic search is when people find us through Google search, meaning they somehow find us through a blog post or just look up our name and then click on one of our links that direct them toward our website. Paid search is when they click on one of our ads and directs them towards our website. Direct means that they type in our full URL into the browser bar up above. Organic social is when people click on a link to our website through any form of social media. And email is exactly like what it sounds. That is when people click on our links from an email. The next important thing we are going to want to go to is the engagement section and press engagement overview. And this is where you can see the average time people spend on your website. And this is perfect for knowing what to better optimize on your website so you get higher retention for your users. And the very last thing in this section is monetization. And this is perfect if you're an e-commerce business, you can track your conversions over in this section. And so the next part you're probably interested in is the advertising section. At USDP, we actually like to go over to Google Ads to track all of our advertising information. Google has a software program just built for this and it's much easier using this program than trying to do it in Google Analytics. As you can see, as this is loading, there is much more information in this section for our ads. Like you have ad groups, you have campaigns, keywords, so many more things than you have in analytics. So this is what I like to go to instead of using the advertising section. And lastly, the configure section tracks certain events. So as you can see, it tracks the amount of clicks on our website, first visits, page views, etc. anywhere from June 27th to July 24th. And of course, I could adjust those dates. So if you want to learn how to track events and everything that there is to Google Tag Manager, click on this video right here. If that doesn't suit your needs, I'm sure you'll enjoy our newest video up above right here. This is Jake over at USDP, and thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. After you've, you've, you've Apple's new rollout feature, new rollout. Yeah. I cannot eat some more. That's the trip. So now that you got, so now that you got, so now, so now that you guys know the lay of the land.
dude. That was gonna be a good take, dude. That was gonna be good. Yeah, I should just like get it for a little. It's, it's gonna hop in there. You wanna be my Alani guy, John? 